Hi, welcome back to the Playwright with TypeScript course. In this video, we're going to explore critical aspect of automation, writing test suites with Playwright. As your test suite grows, organization becomes important for maintainability. We will start discussing how to organize your tests into logical suites. This helps to keep automation code clear and maintainable. To speed up your test execution, Playwright allows us to run tests in parallel. I will guide you through configuring and running tests concurrently. Configuring your test environment and generating repl is also crucial uh, for understanding those test results. Uh, we will explore how to set up the, your test configuration, handle environmental variables, and generate detailed test report for better analysis. Let's put our knowledge into practice and life. So for this workshop, I also did prepare the HTML page. And this include four fields with a name, last name, address, and number. If you press the register button, we will get the display data. Uh, if we miss some of the field, so we will have the error, please field, fill all your fields. As before, let's create the workshop file. 7.spec.ts. All right. So as previously, let's actually copy the import from workshop five. Cool. So as I mentioned before, in this in this workshop, we will start to using the describe and actually optimize our code. So let's start with the describe. This is actually kind of container, which is group all of our tests. And we would name it like user registration test. not passing the page yet. So here we will have our test. Wait. Let's first do the positive test with registering the valid data. All right, and within this test, we do actually want the field data, then press uh, the register button. So let's actually check what are the selectors of it. So the input has the first name, last name, have the address, have the but button register, and also we have the uh, information of our registered user. So it have the display first name, display last name, display address, and display number. What are the selectors in case of the error? Let's actually check this. So we have the error section with ID error with the text place field in all fields. Let's move back. Let's actually first fill the data. So the selector will be first name first name first name id and then we want to we want it to be john and so we have the four fields it makes sense to copy them as i mentioned before i doing with the option shift and the arrow down so this would be last name this would be address and number so let's put the john doe address one two three main street and number some example one so also once we're organizing our test our test suite you can see that there is test data it's a really good practice to keep this test data outside of our test so it can easily be changed in the real world example we would rather keep it in the separate files where we have a lot of the test data. But as for now, let's create the uh, object with this. So let's call it test data. And this would be the first name, first name, and last name, address, 
and number. So all of those will be assigned with uh, values of each of them. Let's actually make like that. I press the comma, the, the option. Let's copy all of them. No, not like that. So let's actually copy them. The street. Last name. And John. So you have to have comma after each. So now we can use this test data. This would make our code much more readable. So this would be test data dot first name. And similarly with the rest of them. All right. Like that. Just test data, last name, address, and number. All right. So as you can, as you can see, it's much, much more clear now what we actually do. And uh, also those selectors are also could be in a separate file, but we will back to it later once we will start using page object model. Okay, so cool. Let's actually do the page click. And we want to register such user. Register. Because of the our button ID is register. So this is the button. So now another good practice I want to use here. Because as you know, we have for each of those elements, once we log them, then we have to get actual the test context. With. So why not to put it in the separate context? Because we would this would make our assertion much more shorter. So for every user with it register, we will have some assertion for the for the text we actually passing. So we want to make sure that the actual value with it passed it will be returned. Our page our our index HTML page have really simple structure so you might be wondering why to do such because there is only one function which to operate this but in real world example you're passing this data to the backend and uh, if you're not sure what will be returned from the backend it's always worth to have a test on such thing so let's have the const first name text and this would be the await page locator uh, locator be the display first name and we want to return text context so we have four of them which be last name and we have last name and also the address text and this would have the selector of display address the last one is number text. So I could keep the simple number, but let's stay conscious. Cool. So we have now all those variables set up, and now we can actually prepare the assertion for it. So we want to wait for expect and actually make it pretty much the same. So this one we want to equal. I use an equal, uh, there is some difference between uh, between equal and to be. As you can see from the description, the equal perform deep equality. Let's make sure that it's actually valid. So uh, we can also now reduce the test data and pass it here. All right, so you would have last name, address, and number text. Here we have last name, address, and number. Cool. Let's actually, let's actually make sure that this work. All right. Let's actually test it in Chromium. Cool. This would be pretty fast, I guess so. 
but we forgot to put our URL. So the browser was actually open, but we didn't pass any URL to go, right? Let's actually make it work. Copy from the workshop five and now pass any here. The only difference, it would be the workshop, workshop six, right? Cool, that was pretty fast. Let's actually make sure that this was actually work. Wait for timeout. 3000, let's do it again. Cool, you can see that all the data is here. The test did work just fine. Okay, let's move to the next one. So actually now we want to have a test to register with empty fields, right? And this would be the register with empty fields. Sync, return the page, and then the test. So let's actually fill some data. For example, fill first name and last name, all right? And Okay, typo here, cool. And after this, uh, we didn't, we will not get our content. But what we, we, what we actually want to do is press the register button. So after this, we're expecting to get some error. So let's write such expect. We'll write the error to be uh, please fill in all fields. Cool. But instead of actually passing the selector of errors let, of error, let's actually keep it uh, within the separate const const error. And we would love to wait for page locator. This would be error ID and text to contact, of course. All right. It should be ready to go. We just put only here. Okay. Cool. The blank page again. So now let's put it here. But first, as you can mention, that I'm already putting it twice, and also in a previous example test, we were putting it like three times, etc. So how how we can avoid this? The playwright actually provide the playwright actually provide the before each method. As you can see, that there is an option to do the before all. So before all the test was run, uh, then we can do something with our page. In this case, before each test will be run, we will open uh, our URL. Sync provide page turn and actually move it from here so we don't need this don't need this all right all right let's check why we got the error so for some reason we're receiving the three errors instead of one all right so Let's actually make sure to make sure if the playwright is getting the right selector. So let's put a debug here. Once the debug opened, you can see the playwright has the its own UI. So we do have our browser open and the playwright with such uh, playwright expector with such UI. So we can pick it locator from here. We can even record the test, which will automatically will give you the locators, selectors, and the action you perform on the site. So uh, let's actually, the, this button will run the test one by one, and this would actually run the whole test. Let's actually press the to run it one by one. So we fill the John, fill the O, press register then, and then we can see the locator. So Obviously, 
I can find out that this is correct. But we don't really get the uh, please fill on field. So here what we need to do. Let's actually check. Because the error error ID is only only the div of a class. So we have to we have to explicitly select the P, right? The text in it. So let's close this. Right. And then set that is a P element. Let's run it in header mode. Or even let's run it in the back mode to to see visually how this looks like now. Cool. Fill first name, fill second name, last name, register, and locator P is here. Still, the error is about typo, so there is no dot in the end. I mean, there is actually a dot at the end, so we have to put it, add it. Cool. So now it's done. As you can see with this test, so we move the um, page go to, to the before each. This is a cool idea because, the, for example, uh, in our case, for those two cases, we can move even the fill first name and everything which is happening before our test. So once we text, once we're testing similar, similar data, or we're doing the same uh, preparation for every test, so it makes sense to have it in before each. All right, let's clear a bit here. Cool. So let's actually have two more tests so we so we can run them all. Let's write something like register with empty fields. So this one will sync sync and page. After this, we will have to actually do nothing but only click the register register cool and now we have to wait for the error wait what which will be the page dot locator hash error p perfect and text contact of course and then we do expect so the expect is pretty much the same from here. Please fill all fields. Perfect. So now we have the three tests to be executed from this describe, right? Every of them have only. Let's change this. So let's see how the actually the test is really working. Got some error. For some only. Register with empty fields. All right. Duplicate. Cool, because we're actually duplicating ourselves. And let's put that all empty fields. So we can see the cool feature actually of the playwright, another one. Once you have the duplication of the test, like in our case, you can always, uh, the playwright always will tell you about this. So let's actually run our test. You can see the playwright running the test with the three workers at the same time. Just make it pretty much fast. And then three test was passed with the three seconds. Cool. So as for now, in our once we run the test, there is no really uh, information what test was run, etc. So as you can see, Playwright is offering by default is offering the HTML reporter. I mean the Playwright config file. But uh, you already know that there is a multiple ways of uh, using the different reporter. Let's actually use the uh, let's actually use the list reporter. So now it's much more it's much more clear what test was run. So we can see that our suit is the user registration test, and it's showing the whole test which was run for this suit. And I think it's kind of cool because we only added the describe and uh, changed changed the list. Next video, we will explore TypeScript fundamentals for the playwright. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next one.